All right, one last thing that I want to show in this video today or explain is the idea that everything has to be <clears throat> planted in rows and look really pretty. I am trying to create a food forest, right? So by trying to create this food forest, things are going to get a little messy. They're not going to stay where I want them to. And that's the point. I want things to grow where they're happy and I want things to pop up where and when they need to because a lot of what I see is, you know, soil turning, then adding compost and then putting things in a line again and having to plant and plant and plant and plant. And what's really fun about this is that things just kind of take over and they grow where they want to. And eventually this will be a forest of things and it'll be all mixed together. So things that want to grow together will grow together otherwise known as companion planting, which most of you probably already know of. And so I've purposely tried to put things together that want to grow together. So dill and strawberries, uh, well, and every other type of thing that you can find, you know, tomatoes and peppers with basil. So trying that out and then letting the seeds that I leave there sort of take over. So you can see here, you can see here all of these strawberries. Originally when I planted these strawberries, they were in a nice half circle going in a line all the way from here to here. And now they've just, at the end of the season with all the runners, I ended up planting them wherever those runners wanted to go and left them over winter. And so now the bed is full of strawberries and I'm hoping that this year we get a harvest. Last year was a little bit tricky because we had moved everything from the year before and things weren't fully established, but this year things are really starting to take hold. And you can see the same thing happening with the raspberries here. I planted them all in a nice line all the way across, but you can see now that there is a raspberry wanting to grow here, a raspberry growing right beside it here, and another one growing here. And I'm just gonna leave them because I want this place to feel wild, really and to grow the way that it's meant to grow or would grow in nature if these plants weren't you know selected and chosen and so that is really what i'm trying to show here is that gardening doesn't have to be hard doesn't have to be complicated doesn't have to be structured as or as structured in my opinion as people make it out to be Maybe exper experiment a bit, see what works for you. Do you find the same things happening in your garden right now? And uh, yeah, keep me posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.